Welcome to Bogosox TV. We've got lots of classic and original TV shows. Subscribe now and enjoy the video. Grandpa in my pocket! The thing about Grandpa is that he's always fun. We play lots of games. Three! Oh, you won again! <laughs> I certainly did. Captain Dumbledore. We read Captain Dumbledore twit mm, stories. The tennis racket sprung out of the side of the spaceship. <laughs> we share our ice cream. <laughs> we suck up our spaghetti. <laughs> and Grandpa is always like this. <laughs> That's it, Jason. I love the drawbridge. <laughs> Thanks, Grandpa. And here's the last flag. One of the things I like doing best with Grandpa is making pictures. And this one was for a special reason. It was part of our plan for taking part in the Sunny Sand Sandcastle competition. That's exactly how it's going to look. A winner if ever I saw one. Well done. It's great. Great? It's more than great. It's splendiferous. Grandpa was right. Our sandcastle was going to be... The most splendiferous sandcastle in Sunny Sands. Our town is called Sunny Sands because it's always sunny and it's by the sea. We love spending time at our beach at on the beach. And you can see the lighthouse from my bedroom window. This is Mum and Dad's bike shop. And here's Miss Smiley's Cafe, which serves the best ice cream sundaes in the world. Then there's Mr Whoops's shop, where you can buy anything and everything. Everyone loves Sunny Sands. There's just one thing more we need. Get the treasure chest, Jason. Grandpa opened his treasure chest. It's where he keeps all the things he had when he was a boy. There are rattles. And a funny monkey. Toy boats and trains. And today, he'd found this. A knight. We'll stick him on the top. He can be our guard. Brilliant. Thanks, Grandpa. Are we ready to go, then? Yes. Come on. Oh, this is going to be such fun. So I got into Campo with Dad and Grandpa, and we set off for the beach. And Dad said... Do you need any help with the sandcastle? Only I'd like to repaint the beach hut this afternoon. And Grandpa said... Oh, we'll manage just the two of us, won't we, Jason? And I said, of course, Grandpa. And Grandpa said, I can see the sea. We got to the beach and started to build our castle. And soon it was time to stand Grandpa's knight on top. Right a bit, no, no, a bit more left, there, 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 that's perfect. Well, that is definitely splendiferous. Don't forget the flag, Jason. We were so busy admiring the sandcastle and deciding where to put the flag, we didn't notice that someone else had arrived on the beach. Troy! Look, Dad, what a rubbish sandcastle! We don't like this boy, Troy, much. He lives next door and he's always inviting himself round to play. He's very spoiled and he's very rude. Na, 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 na. He does things like this. I want it! No, me! Give it to And this. <laughs> but I want to play with it! Oh. And he makes Grandpa say... <laughs> That boy needs a good talking to. Troy's dad settled down and Troy said, Is this for the Sunny Sand Sandcastle competition? Yes, but it's not finished yet. It's going to look like this picture. A two-year-old could have made a better flag than that. And what's this night all about? Ha! Really old-fashioned. Grandpa wouldn't like this one bit. If we want to win, we're going to have to do it my way. Come on, we need some more shells. Wants to do it his way, does he? Well, we'll see about that. Not the shrinking cap, Grandpa! 
You know when Grandpa shrinks, he can get up to all kinds of magical things. Catch me if you can! He can get into my car and make it go. Grandpa, come back! He can fly off in my plane. Not the plane, Grandpa! He can ride on Gordon, my toy seagull. <laughs> or he could just run for all he's worth. And this time he was running. Grandpa, stop it! Troy will see you! Hi, Jason! Come here or else! I didn't like leaving Grandpa on his own. But once he's got a plan in his head, there's no stopping him. <laughs> Luckily, Troy's dad was busy reading his magazine. And my dad was busy stirring his paint. So they didn't see Grandpa standing the night up. Or sticking the flag back in. Grandpa, Troy's coming! going on? Who put all of this stuff back? It can't have been your grandpa, because he's way too old to go crawling about on the sand. Of course, Troy doesn't know what grandpa can do when he's wearing his magic shrinking cap. Where is he anyway? Probably in the hut having one of his little lie-downs. I knew grandpa could hear Troy being rude about him, and he wouldn't be very pleased. Ah! What's under there? Is it a crab? I hate crabs. Ah, it's gonna bite me! Get rid of it! Get rid of it! No problem! While I got rid of the crab, Troy started decorating the castle his way. And soon, it looked like this. Ha! How cool is that? That's not how it's supposed to look. In our picture, the shells go round Who the... cares about your stupid picture, Jason? We're doing it my way now. I needed Troy to get out of the way so Grandpa could put the sandcastle back how he wanted it. Let's go and fetch more seaweed. I was just going to say that. As soon as we'd gone, Grandpa crept out from his hiding place and set to work. Luckily, Troy's dad was busy having a nap. And my dad was busy cleaning paint off his fingers. But Grandpa was so busy rearranging the shells, he didn't see Troy marching up the beach. So I rushed in front of him. You're in my way! I was trying to give Grandpa enough time to hide, when suddenly I heard... What was that? Not another crab! It wasn't another crab. It was Grandpa falling into the moat. I don't get it. This is weird. Troy had no idea just how weird. I was worried about Grandpa. I couldn't see him anywhere. But I could see these. The good news was Grandpa wasn't hurt. The bad news was he was running around the beach in his pants. Anyone want to come for an ice cream? Yes, please. You coming, Troy? Oh, no. You don't want an ice cream? I didn't like leaving Troy with Grandpa on the loose. But I had no choice. While I was gone, Troy threw the seaweed all over the top in a mess and started taking off all the shells. I rushed back ahead of Dad and was about to say something to Troy when I heard... Oh, no, you don't, young man. Ah! I am Sir Shrinkalot, and I guard Jason Mason's sand castle. This time, Grandpa had gone too far. He'd taken the knight's clothes off and was wearing them himself. It was you. You moved the flags and changed the shells. I certainly did. This is Jason's castle and you can't expect to come marching in here and take over. I... I guess not. I had to do something. Troy was getting closer and closer to Sir Shrinkalot. Jason! Jason the knight! It's... it's... It's just a toy, Troy. No! It's alive! It spoke to me and everything! <laughs> Troy, you have such a fantastic imagination. No, it really did, honest. Dad, that 
While nobody was looking, I grabbed the toy knife. He needed to put his clothes back on. And so did Grandpa. So I rushed round to the back of the beach hut. While Grandpa was getting dressed, I put the knight back in his place. And this time, Troy didn't dare try to stop me. Weird. Grandpa took off his shrinking cap and went back to his normal size. There you are, Grandpa. Come on, they're about to start the competition judging. And guess what? We won first prize. I knew our sandcastle was a winner, Jason. Teamwork, eh? Yes, teamwork. <laughs> teamwork? But you had a little lie down halfway through, Grandpa. It's a good job Troy was there to help out. favourite place and I love spending time at our beach hut and guess what someone new in town had just put the beach hut opposite and he works in the sunny sands bank and today mum had invited him round for a party and it was going to be a pirate party yo ho ho and away we and the reason why we were having a pirate party was that although our new neighbour worked in a bank, what he really, really wanted to be was... Yo-ho! Heave-ho! Horatio! A pirate! A pirate called... Horatio Heave-ho! Now, Horatio had only just found out that his great-great-granddad, Grumpy Beard, was a pirate. And that's why he wanted to be one too. He loves his parrot Stinky. Who's a pretty boy then? Ooh. He loves his pirate ship. What a fine vessel. And he loves Grumpy Beard's secret chest that he's never opened. But most of all, he loves roaring. Yo ho! Heave ho! Horatio! Why don't we open the chest at the party with our new friend, Stinky? What a good idea! What a good idea! So that's exactly what happened. Horatio went to unlock his great-great-granddad Grumpy Beard's chest for the first time. And in the chest, there was a bottle. A bottle! And in the bottle, there was a message. A message! A message! I wonder what it says. Treasure! 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 I knew where, it! Where? The treasure that I buried will soon be in your hands. So dig until you find it on the beach at Sunny Sands. Sunny Sands? If I can dig up treasure, I'll be a real pirate. Let's get digging, me hearties. No time to waste. Hey, Stinky? Oh! No time to waste! Absolutely! To the beach! Oh, no, Grandpa. You're better off at home. Digging is very tiring. I'm coming too, Jason. There's something a bit odd about Horatio. I can't quite put my finger on it, but I think you're going to need my help. Not a shrinking cup, Grandpa! Catch me if you can! You know when Grandpa shrinks, he can get up to all kinds of mischief. He can fly off in my plane. He can chuff about in our sunny sense train. And today, he was running around the garden. Jason, hurry up! There was nothing I could do. I put Grandpa in my belt and ran after the others. So we all got into Campo and off we went. And Horatio said... Treasure! Imagine that! We'll dig until we find it, and I'll be a real pirate! Yo-ho, heave-ho, Horatio! When we got to the beach, we got some spades out of the hut, and everyone split up to dig in different places. And I went into our beach hut to put Grandpa down. We can't let him dig up the whole beach, Jason. Beach Horatio. Yeah. I'm gonna dig until I find the treasure. That's what real pirates do. And I wanna be a real pirate. I reckon. I reckon it's under there. 
Let's move everything out, then we can knock down the hut and start digging. No, no, Horatio, you can't! You can't I was really it. worried that he'd see Grandpa. But Grandpa jumped into a jug on the table. Then Horatio picked up the table. Stop, you must stop! What's the matter? Horatio wants to knock down the hut to dig. Well, I, I, I don't What's think the matter? Horatio wants to knock down our hut to dig. Well, I, I really would rather you didn't. You can't knock our hut down. I want my treasure. Without my treasure, I'm not a real pirate. Come and sit down. We'll get you some water. <sighs> I'll get it. You can't erase you down. I don't need calming down. I just need my treasure. I grabbed the jug with Grandpa in it and rushed inside the hut. Whew. That was close. What are we going to do, Grandpa? Well, you keep him busy in a piratey way, and I'll think of something. OK. I gave Horatio some water while I tried to think up a piratey way of keeping him busy. Suddenly, I thought of something. Let us sing a piratey song while we have a rest from digging. Great idea. But I don't know any piratey songs. We do. I suddenly spotted Grandpa at the door of the hut. And what was he up to now, I wondered? Who are you? I soon found out. Grandpa was on top of the beach hut, joining in. Suddenly, I saw Grandpa running towards Horatio's hat, and then he disappeared under it. Well, I know no song, but I still don't have my treasure. I'm not a real pirate if I can't dig up treasure. Oh, but you are a real pirate. Yes, you're definitely a real pirate. What way am I a real pirate? Well, you're, 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 you're very, um, you're very, uh, uh brave. Brave. Oh. brave. Yes, you're very brave. Oh, you are. You're incredibly brave. Am I? Yes, and you can roar. Yes, I suppose that's true. I am brave, and I can roar like a real pirate. Yo ho! Heave ho! Horatio! Ah! It's a scuttly thing! There's a great big scuttly sea monster under my hat! Ah! Of course, I knew exactly who the big scuttly sea monster was. Grandpa! Now get him over here as quick as you can. OK. I'm no good as a pirate. I didn't know any piratey songs. I'm not brave. But I still don't have my treasure. <laughs> Why don't you have a rest, Horatio? And maybe we can get some ice creams. Lovely. You have a little rest, and we'll get the ice cream. And I'll stay and guard the beach hut in case he has any more ideas about knocking it down. Right. I'm never going to be a real pirate, Stinky. Not like Grumpy Beard, am I? No, you're not. Yes, you are. Who's that? Of course you are! <gasps> Don't be alarmed, me old hearty. I'm Captain Teeny Toes, the smallest pirate ever to sail the seven seas. Yes, I can see you are really ever so small. Arr, ever so small, but ever so clever. You see, today, pirates don't have to dig up treasure. They don't? No. Who needs treasure when they got friends? Friends? Who are? Friends like the Mason family, for instance. Think of all the fun you could have together on this lovely beach. No, you wouldn't want to dig all that up now, would you? Eh? Mom so charming and bubbly. Dad so kind and helpful. Jemima so pretty and so full of fun. 
and Jason, bright young lad, always ready to lend a hand. And then, of course, there's Grandpa. Well, <laughs> the funny old man, you mean? Oh, well, he might be old and funny, but he's he's really quite wonderful, you know. Is he? Who oh, are? Everybody wants to be a friend of Grandpa. Grandpa's a genius. Well, I never. Here you go, Horatio. We came back with the ice creams, and I handed one to Horatio. Out of the corner of my eye, I saw Grandpa about to jump off the pirate ship. How are you feeling, Horatio? I'll tell you how I'm feeling. I'm feeling like a real pirate, I am. Oh, that's so oh, yes. I had a dream, you see. And in my dream, a tiny little pirate called Captain Teeny Toes spoke to me and said, to be a real pirate, you don't need treasure. You just need friends. Oh, oh, so well, that's really and I've got all of you as my friends. All of you. And Grandpa, of course. Oh, oh yes, yeah, Grandpa. Who I'm told is a genius. Really? At the end of the afternoon, I took my genius Grandpa home and rushed inside ahead of everyone else. I put him down on the floor, he whipped off his shrinking cap and came back to his normal size. We did it, Jason. We stopped our new friend Horatio from digging up our beach. We did, Grandpa. And you know what I call it? Teamwork. Teamwork! <laughs> oh, what a day! Oh, Grandpa, I'm so glad you didn't come with us. Exhausting. But I'm sure Horatio will come and visit you soon. He thinks you're a genius. I wonder where he got that idea from. We managed to stop him from pulling down our beach hut and digging for treasure. Well, that is good. I always say, my friends are my treasure. That's odd. That's what Captain Teeny Toes said. Who? Don't worry, Grandpa, you wouldn't understand. <laughs> Sunny Sands because it's sunny and it's sandy and it's right by the sea. And today there was something very exciting going on at the beach. A very exciting something organised by Mr. Whoops and Mr. Mentor the Inventor. What's all this then? Go on, give us a clue. Well, it's a beach treat for the children. Sounds great. What sort of beach treat? All we can say is it will be Really, <laughs> <laughs> oh. <laughs> I must go and tell Josh and Elsie. I'm so excited. So am I. <laughs> yes, this was the day of the Brilioso Beach Treat. Uncle CJ came straight back and told us all about it. A beach treat for the children? I wonder what that could be. No idea. All I know is it's going to be brilloso. Mr. Mentor and Mr. Whoops together, an inventor and someone who is always having little accidents. Perhaps I should go and help. Not necessary, Grandpa. You'd probably just get in the way. Why don't you just stay here and have a little lie down? Uh, yes, yes, maybe I will. We both knew what Grandpa was thinking. I want to make sure this beach treat is a success. Mr. Whoops and Mr. Mentor are bound to need some help, especially from someone small. Not the shrinking cap, Grandpa! Catch me if you can! You know what happens when Grandpa shrinks? He runs and jumps about, and I just can't catch him. He can get into things, and he can get under things. But most amazing of all is that his magic can make things go. Like Jason's toy car. He even climbs on my Mrs Ostrich and makes her fly. Which is odd, because ostriches can't fly, actually. But today, he took the helicopter. See you later. Back at the beach, Mr. Mentor and Mr. Whoops had set up a Punch and Judy theatre. Oh, bravo, Mr. Mentor! <laughs> oh, Mr. Whoops, you and your little accidents! While Mr. Mentor was helping Mr. Whoops, Grandpa flew onto the beach and landed out of sight. Uh, now, you'll have to explain. 
I've absolutely no idea what a Punch and Judy puppet show is. Oh. <laughs> ah, the treats a Punch and Judy show. Excellent. Well, this is Mr. Punch. Oh. And this is Judy. Oh, Judy. Oh, really? Oh, so. <laughs> and they have a friend called Joey the Clown. <laughs> and there's uh, Toby the Dog next door. Oh, how ridiculous. Oh. <laughs> and there's a policeman. Oh, a policeman, yes. Oh. And a crocodile. Oh, a crocodile, too. <laughs> and there's always sausages. Oh, 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 oh. Where did they go? The sausages nearly hit Grandpa. Oh, where have they gone? Oh, I don't know. I'll get... Oh, just. Oh. I've lost my twirly whirly badge. Never mind that now. We've got to find the sausages. Grandpa could see that they were never going to find the sausages, so he decided to help them. <laughs> then Mr. Whoops turned round. He was about to see Grandpa. Oh no. So he had to hide in the basket of puppets. Over there, over oh. there. You missed them, Mr. Whoops. Oh. <laughs> right. Now we've got to get on with practice in the puppet show. Uh, did you say we? I thought I was just putting up the theatre booth. Oh no. We have to make the puppets walk and talk, see? Like this. That's the way to do it. <laughs> That's what Mr. Punch always says. <laughs> oh, I couldn't do that. Oh, I'm too shy. No, no, it's impossible, Bubble. But I can't do all the puppets at the same time. I'll have to have help. Mr. Mentor had a Wonder Bubble idea. I've suddenly had a Wonder Bubble idea. I'll invent a way of making a puppet walk and talk all by itself. Oh! <laughs> It'd be very Wonder Bubble if you could. But you'll need to hurry up because the children will be here soon for the show. It'll be easy peasy, Ozo. I can invent it in no time at all. No time at all. But Grandpa wasn't so sure. Back home, we were worried about Grandpa. Don't you ask. Don't you ask. Don't you ask. <laughs> Uncle CJ, please, can we go to the beach early? In case Mr Mentor and Mr Whoops need any help. Please, 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 please Uncle Yes, CJ. good idea. Yes! We'll go in Queenie. <laughs> Mr. Mentor was trying to work out how to invent a puppet that would walk and talk by itself. Mr. Whoops was warming up and Grandpa was watching them. That's the way to... Oh no, too silly. <coughs> That's the way to... Oh no, too grumpy. <coughs> That's the way to... Oh, whoops! Oh, that's not the way to do it. I've dropped my glasses in the box of puppets. How could I be so clumsy? Mr. Whoops <laughs> put his hand in the box of puppets and felt around. And then this happened. Are you Judy or Joey the Clown? Oh dear, I really do need my glasses. Oh, oh, oh. I've got it. I've thought of a way of making a puppet walk and talk all by itself. Wonder oh. Bubble! Oh. 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 Wonder oh. Bubble indeed! They danced around very excited. And then this happened. Oh, oh. oh dear. Oh. Oh. I've lost my swirly spiral stick. And where's my notebook? Well, don't look at me! We turned up just in time. What about my ruined? What's up? Are you okay? We were looking around for Grandpa, and then we saw him. You're doing a Punch and Judy show! Well, I'm trying to, but it's all gone wrong. Mr. Mentor was supposed to be helping me, but... I have been helping. I have invented a way of making a puppet walk and talk all by itself. Wow! That's amazing! How does it work? Oh, I've forgotten. Forgotten? You can't have forgotten. Well, I have. And it's all your fault. You and your little accidents. It's not my fault. We wanted it's to talk to Grandpa, so we had to get everyone out of the way. Please don't argue. Be friends. Sorry. Why don't you go and have a nice cream sundae together? That's a fabulous idea. An ice cream sundae might help me remember my inventions. An ice cream sundae might stop me having little accidents. <laughs> we can but hope. <laughs> so off they went to Miss Smiley's cafe. I'll fix the puppet theatre. It probably just needs banging back together. There's a hammer in the beach chat. Good thinking, Josh. There's nothing else for it. The three of us are going to have to perform this puppet show ourselves. Really? You think we can do it? Easy peasy oh so. 
Found the hammer. So Uncle CJ fixed the puppet theatre. I'll climb into the Mr. Punch puppet and do all his walking and talking. That's the way to do it. And no one will know it's you. <laughs> Just then, we heard our friends arriving. Oh, wow! I can't wait! Hello, everyone. Are you here for the Brilliosa Beach Treat? Yes! Sit down there. We're nearly ready for you. We took the puppet out of the basket. Grandpa jumped out and got inside Mr. Punch. What are we going to do now? Mr. Mentor and Mr. Whoops aren't here. It's okay. We're going to do the puppet show instead. What? Just the two of you? Okay, it was time for the Brilioso Beach Treat to begin. Hello, boys and girls. I'm Mr. Punch. I'm Judy. And I'm Toby the dog. <laughs> I'm going to cook some sausages for Toby. Now, I want the sausages. Give them to me. <laughs> then, Mr. Whoops and Mr. Mensa came back. Oh, what's going on? Oh, who's doing the puppet show? We are. <laughs> oh, lovely sausages. I'm going to fry them up for my breakfast. That's the way to do it. So if you're both here, who's puppeteering Mr. Punch? Yes. Who? This was a disaster! Everyone was going to know about Grandpa! Then Mr Mentor said... It's my Wonder Bubble invention, of course. I've invented a walking, talking puppet without even realising it. Yeah. Mr Mentor, you're the most remarkable inventor in the universe! <laughs> Grandpa had saved the day! <laughs> as soon as the Punch and Judy show was over, Grandpa flew back to the mill on the marsh landed in the meadow. He took off his shrinking cap and came back to his normal size. And just in time, because we'd come back in Queenie. We took off our life jackets and rushed over to talk to Grandpa. Oh yes, and didn't we do well, the three of us? It was totally teamwork. Teamwork. <laughs> ah, you're up and about, Grandpa. Guess what the Brilliosa Beach Street was? A Punch and Judy show. And Josh and Elsie performed it all by themselves. All by themselves? Well, with the talking, walking Mr Punch, that is. Mr Mentor invented him for Mr Whoops, and then Mr Whoops gave him to us to say thank you for helping. Show Grandpa, Elsie. Oh, let me see. Or we can have a game with him later. That's the way to do it. Not bad, Grandpa. Not bad. Puppet's better. <laughs> <laughs>